Hello and welcome to freephotoshop.com. This week we're going to transform a photograph taken on a digital camera to a black and white sketch using a very, very, very simple process. In fact, it's one of the easiest ways of getting this effect and nine times out of ten producing some really great results from it. So without no further ado, I'm going to come up here to the file menu and select the browse option to open up the bridge. And I'm already in the folder I want, so I'm going to open up this image called mirage.psd, a photograph taken of the Mirage Hotel complex in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now I'm going to left click and hold on this background copy layer and drag with the left mouse button still pressed over all the other layers until I reach the top layer, which happens to be this levels adjustment layer. And then just release and that will switch all of the layers on which gives the final version of the image magically transformed from a color photograph to a black and white sketch or more accurately a grayscale sketch. Now we've already got the top layer selected so I'm going to control click here on the PC or command click on the Mac right here on the background copy layer to select everything but the bottom original layer then I'm going to drag any of the selected layers down here to the delete icon that looks like this little bin down here on the bottom right hand side of the layers palette and because we had multiple layers selected we've gone ahead and deleted everything but the original color photograph layer and that means we can start at the beginning the first thing we need to do is to duplicate this layer so I'm going to come up here to the layer menu select new and choose this command here layer via copy which has this very handy shortcut available control or command J on the keyboard okay so we now have got two identical layers in the layers palette and I'm going to rename the new layer grayscale and I've done that just by clicking on the original layer name just in case you're wondering now I'm going to desaturate the image which means to take all of the color out of it and turn it into a grayscale image, a true grayscale image. So I'm going to come up here to the image menu, select adjustments, and for the ease of this tutorial here, I'm going to choose the desaturate command. There are better ways of getting a grayscale image here inside of Photoshop, primarily by using the channels mixer, or if you're using Photoshop CS3, then there's the brand new feature called black and white, which is definitely worth a look if you get chance. OK, now we need to duplicate this grayscale layer, and I'm going to do that by using that keyboard shortcut we saw a few moments ago, Control-J here on the PC or Command-J on the Mac. Now I'm going to rename this layer Dodge, and then we need to invert the pixels of this layer, so I'm going to do that by coming up here to the Image menu, selecting Adjustments, and then using the Invert command. Next I'm going to change the blending mode of the layer to color dodge and that should give us a white layer. You might just find a few black speckles here and there but generally you're going to come up with a white layer like we have done here. If you're using Photoshop CS2 or older then you won't be able to do the next step. Thankfully it's not one that you need to do. It's just going to give us a little more control once we've finished the effect. Now with the dodge layer selected I'm going to come up here to the layer menu select smart objects and then choose the convert to smart objects command once again if you're using Photoshop CS2 or before there's no need to go through with that smart objects transformation okay we're ready for everybody to continue following along here I'm gonna come up here to the filter menu select blur and then choose the Gaussian blur filter and then all we need to do here is to set the amount of Gaussian blur to suit the sketch we're trying to create Basically, the more blur you add, the more heavy the sketch will appear. Now, if you're using an earlier version than CS3, then you won't be able to come back here later on and make alterations to this value. So it's important that you get it right first time. If you're using CS3 and you're making good use of the amazing smart filters that are available with this version, then you can edit this value at any time in the future. A great new feature here in Photoshop CS3. OK, I'm going to go ahead and stick with a radius of around about 6 pixels and then hit the OK button. And there we have it, a very detailed sketch-like appearance. If you think the sketch looks a little faded, then you can come down here to the bottom of the Layers palette and then just click the Layer Adjustments icon and then choose the Levels option. 
and that's going to bring up the levels dialog box and if you've never used levels before or if you've used them but want to know more then keep your eyes peeled for the next few months here on freefotoshop.com because I'm currently working on a level series that will be available in high resolution video completely free of charge right here on freephotoshop.com and it's going to be all in all well over an hour's worth of video tutorials looking at stuff like this but also how you can use levels to improve the look of your digital photographs so if you don't want to miss out then I urge you to hit the subscribe button on the freephotoshop.com website or keep a lookout for that one because it's coming real soon Anyway, for now I'm just going to move this little black slider here on the left hand side to the middle of the histogram and we're done. I'm going to hit the OK button to accept the changes and the beauty by the way with adjustment layers and smart filters is that we can now make changes on the fly which is a real time saver. We can also switch off the grayscale layer to dodge the colours from the background layer and create a kind of cartoon effect, although you'll tend to get varying results depending on the images you're using. I'm going to turn the visibility of the grayscale layer back on once again to reveal the Mirage Hotel and Complex in the heart of Las Vegas, not as a full colour photograph but as a grayscale sketch. Well I hope you found this tutorial on freephotoshop.com to be helpful. Thanks very much for watching.